we presented the Waterability Estimation Test, or short DET. It was developed at the University of Salford under the lead of Professor Miklas Scholz, who is now at the Lund University, of course. And within Water Agri, the DET will be used in cooperation with Salford, Lund and ATW UK, which is a spin-off company to develop the device. The goal of this test is to estimate the dewaterability of sludges, a sludge being a mixture of water and solids, speaking in simplified terms. So we want to measure how well a sludge can be dewatered, and this information can then be used to inform management decisions regarding the selection of dewatering technology, for example. The general concept originated from the capillary suction test, CST, Using electrodes, it measures how fast water spreads on a filter paper when sludge is applied to it. The water spreads by capillary suction, but the CST has some documented flaws and is now quite outdated. For example, the water spreads radially, which limits the usefulness of the measurement. Also, there are very few measurement points, only two for the most basic device. The DET was created to remedy the CST's flaws. The new test is also based on capillary suction, but has, has improvements for many aspects. One of the biggest differences is that it uses a camera instead of electrodes. It has also a more linear water spread. Here's a comparison of the two tests. The DET is fairly easy to use, similar to the CST, but it requires a laptop, a laptop on top. The new test is more reliable, for instance, it has low standard deviation in measurements. Also, the measurements are typically faster because of slightly larger sample size. The DT is more flexible regarding sludge types. And we get much more measurement data from the DT. There's, so to speak, a stream of data instead of, instead of beginning and end only, as is the case with the CST. The current DT device is a fourth generation prototype. We have three devices for use in water agri. And breaking it down, it is a metal encasing with a camera, an LED light, and a temperature sensor. And then there's a plate to place a filter paper on, a reservoir to accumulate the liquid or sludge, and finally a pipe to feed in the sludge from the outside. Measurements are based on image analysis. We record throughout the measurement and the algorithm tries to follow the water spread into filter paper and generate data points with time and position. The software is developed in-house in Salford. The DT is designed to be portable. There's a carrying case for the device itself and all necessary equipment. And any standard Windows laptop will be able to power the device via USB and also run the software. Because the measurements are impacted by the outside temperature, we also added a temperature sensor so that we can later normalize the measurement data accordingly. The main target application is wastewater treatment plants, so the watering of sludge. But there are many other industries where sludge exists. And for example, these would be paper factories, breweries, farms, and in general, food and drink industries and others. Within Water Agri, we want to further field test the DET device. This is mainly to test different sludge types and perhaps other applications like uh, soils, moist soils. But we also want to gather feedback and suggestions regarding hardware and software. The plan is to have case studies in several countries, including Finland, Sweden, Poland, Italy and Hungary. And we will use the collected data to further develop the software mainly, but also the hardware if necessary. We will also get closer to a finalized device that generates commercial interest. For that, we will need to find investors, uh, early adopters, and so on. So as mentioned, any feedback is welcome. Um, do you have any other applications in mind for the device? Um, within Water Agri or elsewhere. Please contact us. And that's it. Thank you. And we are looking forward to the case studies.